Chapter Four of the Kingdom of Happiness by G. Du Krishnamurti. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. The Temple of the Heart. We have been talking about the idea of truth and how to attain that truth and that happiness. I want to impress on you that truth, though abstract, is to me the embodiment of my particular teacher, the embodiment of my lover. If you went into a temple and saw the bare walls and the pillars and nothing but the mere outward shell, it would seem cold and lifeless, for even though there is a certain sense of aesthetic beauty and gorgeousness, in a temple you also need the image of your creation. Each one of us has a temple, but we must create the image, the idol, the beauty around which we can develop our love and devotion. For if we keep the temple empty, as most of us do, we cannot create. It is by adoration, by love, by devotion that we create, that we make the temple living. And that temple to me is the heart. If you place him who is the embodiment of love and truth in your heart, if you create him there with your own hands, your own mind, your own emotions, that heart, instead of being cold and abstract and far away, becomes real and living and radiant such is the truth and we must realize that this temple without the vitality without the life without the energizing influence that this image gives becomes hard becomes cold and joyless whereas if you have him there you become part of him you become himself you are the outer temple and burning inside you is the eternal this holy of holies into which you can go and worship at your ease away from the world away from all the turmoils and all the troubles but you have to beautify the temple first you have to make that temple which is the physical body perfect strong and really beautiful every gesture every movement every action whether in time of welfare or in time of sorrow at every hour every moment of the day must be refined and beautiful and must represent the temple in which eternity abides therefore you must have this body absolutely clean beautiful radiant so that he who is in your hearts can show himself through your physical expressions i do not think you sufficiently realize that with culture of mind and of emotion there takes place refinement of the body without culture and refinement the body becomes crude ugly and does not represent in outward expression him whom you have within the first thing you must bear in mind is that to possess him in your hearts you must have a suitable tabernacle a suitable abode and then with that physical beauty with that emotional and mental nobility you will attain serious joyousness most of us if we become serious lose the sense of joyousness seriousness which is without joy without delight is artificial in most cases and so must be avoided if you cultivate seriousness with joy which springs up because you have him in your heart as part of yourself then that seriousness takes on a delight instead of turning to morbidity and clumsy expressions when you see him you must see him out of joy and not out of seriousness you can only approach him when you are really happy when you are really enlightened when you are really delighted not through the seriousness of religiosity and a gloomy idea of spirituality when you are really alive with joy with happiness he dwells in the temple of your heart yesterday i went out for a walk by myself I wanted to regain my original joyousness which for a moment I had lost. I struggled to get to a certain height emotionally and mentally, and I could not get there. I could not attain that altitude, that emotional and mental height, by merely struggling. I longed to reach my guru, my lover, my genius, my source of happiness. And as once before in India, I saw him not when i was struggling or trying to get near him but when i was natural and there was inside me a bubbling spring of happiness i saw him fill the sky the blades of grass i saw him in the whole length of the tree i saw him in the pebble i saw him everywhere i saw him in myself 
and so my temple was full my holy of holies was complete i was he and he was myself and that was the truth for me the truth as an abstract thing is of no value until it gives you that intense personal joy and devotion and the desire to create not only within yourself but to create around you as the birds sing of their own accord at their own ease of their own full-heartedness so must truth come and fill your temple of its own accord but you must supply the material you must supply the circumstances you must supply the marble out of which to carve the image and that marble must be joy intense happiness serious joyousness be serious not with long faces not grotesquely but serious with joyousness have that seriousness which gives you excitement excitement to play excitement to be noble excitement to be happy and you must create such an image in your hearts you must make your house his temple every day i have a different vision of my truth when you are on the top of a mountain there stretches before you a higher range invisible from the plains by climbing that range you think you will at last reach the summit whence you will behold all things but this is not so for when you have climbed it there is still another higher range hiding the complete vision so it is with truth there must be constant change constant alteration of your vision when you have that desire that capacity to fill yourself with his genius his strength his nobility then you yourself become noble and learn to reflect his divine originality in him are all the sources of originality all the sources of beauty all the sources of creation and attempts to be original beautiful creative are of little avail if we have not the understanding and the capacity to touch the source of things while you have green fields and fair skies and quietness you should place this graven image in your hearts which you have created out of your own minds with your own hands i desire to force open the doors of the temple in each one of you and let in the sunshine which will help you to destroy that which is ugly to create a new and to rebuild for that is the only way by which you will attain that truth the only way you will keep that eternity in your temple and when he comes to each one of you as he so often does come he will abide with you only if you have the capacity to enshrine him in the temple of your heart if you have the wisdom to live with him and not lose the fruit of many sorrows and ecstasies how joyous and happy you will be if you have the desire to worship at that shrine at that altar and forget everything else yesterday for a moment i thought i had lost him and i could not breathe i could not move all the doors and windows of my temple were shut and i was in darkness i had to struggle to open them and search for him when i found him and felt the reality of his presence then all was once again peace and light and joy after cloud and rain and storm there comes a ray of sunshine all nature bursts forth to meet that ray so did i feel yesterday once you realize this beauty this nobility this eternal happiness which comes when you have felt this truth in your heart the whole world becomes for you the holy of holies you live and breathe and